uh, the mock draft, they have the Browns taking Rashad Bateman. Now, is that one if you saw, if you see him at 26, you could see the Browns absolutely going after? Yeah, I think if the first four corners are gone, if, if you see Sertan and Horn go early, you see uh, Caleb Farley from Virginia Tech, who's every bit as good as any of these other guys go, and then you see maybe like the Titans or the Colts or the Bears who need a corner take Greg Newsom and the first four corners are off the board, and then maybe Quiddy Pay and Aziz Ojolari are off the board. Maybe the guys that they, I'm just putting names out uh, in ranges I have heard are off the board. If the board falls to the point that they're like, hey, we don't see a corner that we love at this point. We don't see a uh, we don't see an edge guy that we love at this point. We don't see an interior defensive lineman we love. We do have a round one grade on Rashad Bateman. We could take him here, and they look at offers for a trade up, and nobody's giving them something worth taking. Uh, and they took Rashad Bateman. I'd be happy with it. He's an he's a fun fun player. Six foot one ninety, a good athlete, tested pretty well, but not elite. But that doesn't matter because I think his tape is elite. A little bit of a drop issue that has popped up, but not something that overly concerns me because he separates so well. He, he's he got a ton of wiggle in his, his approach. He's got great route nuance, great feet at the break point, in and out of cuts effectively. A, a nice, I think he plucks the football when he does. And I think, too, some of it is guys who have drop issues can sometimes be guys who exclusively use their hands. You know, sometimes those body catchers can find a little more consistency, but they don't create those plays after catch because they're jump catching the ball into their body or they're letting it get into their shoulder pads, and that eliminates you from catching and running in fluid, uh, fluid motion. And, and Bateman has that stuff. I think he's got he's got a lot of interesting tools, uh, and his tape is phenomenal, especially his 2019 tape before his 2020 tape that he had COVID that really. He came down with it and he lost 20 pounds before he opted out. It really impacted his five games his last year there last year. So uh, if you look back at 2019, Rashad Bateman, you're like, I could see that guy being a top four receiver in this draft period. So uh, I would be pleased if they took him for sure.